Okay, so I did my lesson um, for second grade. I picked engage for my E, and I talked about the motion and the differences between sliding, rolling, and spinning. And so to start, I had um, like the magic science bag and had different objects in there. And then um, I like took it out one by one and it discussed with the students like what they saw and what they thought rather than telling them like, for example, I had a water bottle and, it's, and instead of just saying like, oh, this is a water bottle, I was like, where have you seen this? Like, what is it used for? What happens if you drop it? Like, how does it move? And then um, one thing that I thought went well was like for each object, I had the students talk about like the shape they saw, like was it round um, or had like a cylinder shape. And then, um, cause I use like a, a coin, a color pencil, a water bottle, and then a paper towel roll. And they all, um, they had like that cylinder spherical shape to them. And I also had a ball. And so like, that was a good way to tie it all in. And then from there we were able um, to, I gave the students an opportunity to like play with the <laughs> objects and see how they moved. And then um, from there, they I gave them some time to like classify them by what they saw when they um, moved each object. And so then um, while they were watching, I noticed and like this is something I wanted them to um, catch on to for the misconception for the misconception. But like they had a quarter and they spun it and they're like, oh, it spins. But then the other one's like, no, you can also slide it or if you move it this way, you can roll it. And so then. Um, that I could use that as a prompt and then discuss the misconception about how mm -hmm. objects can have, um, how they can move in different ways. Like if something rolls, it can also slide or be spun. And so that was a good way to, um, to discuss the misconception. But overall, I thought the lesson went really well. Um, I thought it was very beneficial to state the objective at the end, especially for the engage, because then I could tie in um, like if I was actually teaching the lesson, then I could go into the other four E's after doing the engage. So um, setting the objective at the end of engage was very beneficial. And then again, addressing the misconception, I did do it in the video, but I felt it was kind of rushed. And if I were to do it again, I would um, talk about the misconception, like go into more detail about that. Um, but overall, I really liked it. I thought it went well. And um, I thought it was like really good practice for, um, further lessons.